Hi, I'm Owen Fairchild. In this video, I'll be explaining the tools and techniques we use to complete our designs in Real-Time Landscape Architect. Real-Time Landscape Architect is an industry-specific software meant specifically for landscape designers. I will also compare and contrast with the features in AutoCAD, which is not industry-specific, and Dynescapes, which is. The first thing we do with our design is insert the background layer. This gives us a template to base our design off of. Next, we set it to a one-to-one -one scale. This means one foot on our drawing equals one foot in real life. We do the same two steps in AutoCAD and Dynescapes. Then we create layers. We create them for organization, and they can also be turned on and off. We can create layers in all three softwares, but they can also come pre-made in Dynescapes. Plan views in 2D. This is where most of the basic design elements are implanted. Perspective view is 3D and is where most details are added. Walkthrough is also 3D view where we view the, the design as a person walking through the property. You can manually walk through or set a camera path that will automatically take you through the design. The time of day can be changed in this mode. AutoCAD and Dynascapes only have a plan view. All objects come pre-made in a library on real time. Any object or material you need is here. There are even brand-specific objects if you want to use certain brands in the landscape. Unlike AutoCAD and Dynascapes, there is no line, circle, or rectangle tools. AutoCAD has no library of objects, but Dynascapes does. Object-specific tools change the design of an object after they are inserted. There is a specific set of tools for each type of object. Some common ones include changes in height, width, elevation, color, material, and style. These are best used in perspective view. The other two softwares don't have this feature. Real-time has a library of plants to insert. They can be inserted as a row, cluster, or individual. We use leader lines to label the plants. A plant list can be automatically created out of the plants that are inserted. AutoCAD has no plant tools. Dynascapes does, but does not have a row or cluster tool, and their plant list is generated from the leader line labels, not the library itself. Viewpoints are saved images in walkthrough mode. They can be restored at any time. The time of day can also be changed. The finished project is complete with a north arrow, labels of key objects, saved images of important views, a plant list, and the client's name. Overall, Real-Time Landscape Architect has similarities and differences from the other two softwares, but is more similar to Dynascapes. Real-Time's 3D view sets it apart. Thanks for watching.